the Brias Vivo 3. Make sure it does have number 3 on here. On the back of your machine you have a cable, which is a power cable. You also have some oxygen green tubing. Make sure that this is actually on and attached at the beginning um, and middle of your shift. Uh, there's a port here, which is where your circuit will attach to. Your green oxygen tubing will need to go up to your flow meter. And this is how you will titrate oxygen into the machine. There won't be an FiO2 within the machine to set. In terms of tubing to attach, we have two kinds. This is the Trilogy uh, Respironics tubing. We also have some intersurgical tubing here. With the Trilogy tubing, it comes with two lines. This oxygen entrainment line is not required, so you can just pull that off, cap the end, and discard that one. The filter that comes in the packet, you can also get rid of, as it's just a bacterial filter, it's not a HME. On the end where you're going to attach it to your patient, you have an expiratory port at the side. This is really important because it's a single limb circuit, the patient will only breathe out um, of this part. So on the end here, you're going to attach your entidal CO2 monitoring device, HME. So the end of this circuit will fit onto the back of your machine. And that's one circuit. If you're using the intersurgical, the tubing will just come looking like this. There's kind of nothing really to take off. Your expiratory port is this little purple bit here. So the same again, you just need to put your end tidal CO2 HME onto here. And then the end of this tubing will fit onto the back of your machine. To turn the machine on, you have an on button down here, one press, and we'll give you this screen. Shows you battery and that it's plugged in. If I take the plug out, the little line goes and it tells you it's actually on a battery backup. Plug it back in again, you'll see the wavy line come back on again and it's telling you it's back to mains. Uh, the backup battery for these is about two hours. Press any button to continue. So to set up the machine for a patient, press setup and it'll bring you to this screen. It's asking for what ventilator mode. Just hold on a second, it's just a bit out of focus. Mm -hmm. There we are. So if you want to set a particular mode, use your direction buttons on the side to go up. And then you can scroll across to pick the mode that you need. We're going to choose uh, pressure control, uh, ventilation plus assist. In this mode, you can choose a target volume, which means it will use an IPAP and an EPAP pressure to achieve a volume. If you just want to use pressure only, keep that on off. Go down and set your IPAP, which is your peak inspiratory pressure. You can set an EPAP, which is basically PEEP. So the pressure support will be the difference between those two um, numbers. Set yourself a breath rate. And in inspiratory time, if you change that, You'll see underneath it changes your IE ratio. When you're happy with the mode that you've set, press next. And on here it will take you through all the different pages. So the next thing to set will be rise time and spiritual trigger. We suggest keeping that on auto. Press next again. We're not going to have a heated or a humidified circuit, so we'll keep those on off. Next again, and you have your alarms. We suggest that you set a low minute ventilation alarm. So if you scroll up, see it's already been set for you, but you can change that. A rebreathing alarm, which will alarm if the patient starts to rebreathe their own CO2. You just want to turn that on. To turn it off, looks like that. Just go back. Mm -hmm. And on. So that's on, mm -hmm. and that's off, and a disconnection alarm. So that will alarm if the actual circuit to the patient has been disconnected. When you're ready, press next. And there's some more alarms, uh, alarm sound. Press confirm, it'll bring you back to the screen. When you're ready to ventilate the patient, press the start button again and it will ask you, do you want to start ventilating or turn the machine off? Press start, it will take a little while and you'll hear the machine works. To take monitor readings, press the monitor button 
and these will be your hourly or two hourly obs. When you want to stop ventilating, press the start button again and hold. And it will ask you if you want to stop the treatment by pressing the alarm button. So press that and it stops. To turn the machine off again, just press it once and it will ask you if you want to actually start ventilating again or turn the machine off.